Hello everyone, this video is concerning, uh, you know, what's going on with this channel. Why have you guys been seeing more DSP videos that you have seen with Thomas Frequency and Lacey Green and all the other YouTubers that I've been trying to diversify myself with? Well, simply put, they have not uploaded a video worth watching since the Trump video. Uh, Jonathan McIntosh has not uploaded a video since the Steven Universe video he did. I already covered that video. Since then, nothing. I wanted- he did do a stream of Final Fantasy XV. I wanted to do a video about that, but he deleted the video. He deleted the, um, playthrough from Twitch. So I can't really endure that. So if someone has a full- the full playthrough somewhere, please let me know. Other than that, I can't really cover his Final Fantasy XV playthrough because that was ridiculous. I see, I saw the playthrough; it was ridiculous, and I didn't record it, and I didn't, and I didn't endure it. So, if someone has a has that footage, please send it my way. Uh, but he deleted it completely, so I can't really do. I can't do that video, unfortunately. Um, Feminist Frequency has not done a video since the Trump video that was worth. Uh, making a video about the Trump video was completely ridiculous. It was silly. It was a it was really fun to watch and it was fun reacting to it. Uh, since then, she did a video about asking for money, which really wasn't much there to talk about. Uh, she did a video about um, Star Wars Rogue One. Really, again, I watched that video. There really wasn't anything there that was worth talking about. Uh, then she did a video about New Year's. Yippee. And then, um, uh, Jonathan McIntosh uploaded nothing. He hasn't really done anything at all. Um, uh, and Lisa Green has not really done anything either. She just, the latest video I remember her talking after the Trump video was about HIV. And there really wasn't anything to talk about with that. It's like, okay, what, what's really going to be, what's really going to be the, uh, the thing here? You know? Um... So that's why I've not done a lot of videos about them. But ultimately, I don't want to force a video out. I want to do a video that is kind of fun to watch and that is, is fun to react to. And DSP, Dark Side Phil, has, uploaded video, has been uploading videos every day. Uh, be it pre-streams, every week he does the weekend preview, he's been doing a lot of vlogs lately, all this stuff. So it's easier to do a video on DSP because he does so many videos. And the thing is that he does a lot of ridiculous things. Ultimately, to put it into perspective here, if DSP did a weekend preview where he just said what games he was playing this week, I would not be doing videos about the weekend preview. Uh, you know, there was a calendar video he did. I didn't do a video about that because, okay, I'm going to do this game this month, this game next month. Oh, and here it's going to be hype game. Like, there really isn't anything to talk about in that video. Uh, that was worth talking about. Uh, I didn't really watch that video, but I didn't really care to watch it. The week in preview, every video, he goes on some crazy tangent that's just like, why the fuck are you talking about this in the week in preview? Um, like the, the week in preview I recorded and uploaded today, as I'm recording this would be Monday, uh, he went on a tangent about having a cold. That's ridiculous. He doesn't really need to talk to us about colds in the weekend preview. Again, it was weekend previews was literally just him going on camera saying, "All right, guys, welcome to the weekend preview. Uh, here's my Patreon goal. Donate to my Patreon if you want this. If you want this goal to be hit, so let's get into this week. Tomorrow I'm gonna be playing Dark Souls One. Tuesday I'm playing Dark Souls One. This game I'm doing Zelda. On uh, Thursday I'm doing this game, and so on and so forth. If he just said that and ended." The, the video, I would not be doing a video about it. But instead he goes on these random tangents that is just kind of silly and funny that is worth a video. Like the Nightbot video, for example. That was a ridiculous video. He went on, on a 11 minute tangent about someone messing around with a bot that really did not need to be a, a video at all. It could have been a pre-stream, but it didn't have to be a video. Let alone he didn't really have to talk about it. So see how fun, like, so, yeah, that is a funny video to watch and it's a funny video to react to because it's it's just kind of like a, re a nonsense thing. That's why I do these videos about DSP and that's why I do videos about these other people. But if they don't upload anything that I'm just saying like, wow, that's fucking hilarious, I can't do a video about it. I'm not going to force a video. 
There's a lot of DSP videos that I have to, that, you know, if I feel like I'm forcing a video, I don't, I don't upload it. There was at least maybe one weekend preview video I did not cover because it was fucking boring. There was nothing going on, so I didn't cover it. So, there you go. I would not cover a DSP video if it's boring. If there's nothing going on in the video, if the video is actually tame and fucking normal, I won't do a video about it. But if the video is him saying this not stuff that I find to be nonsense, I'm gonna cover it naturally. Um, and that's ultimately it. Uh, that's why you haven't been seeing a lot of Jonathan McIntosh or uh, Femmes Frequency videos, because they have not done videos that made me say, that deserves a video. I mean, I can force a video out, but that's not going to be fun to watch, and that's not going to be fun to make, and honestly, that's not why I even opened this channel. I opened this channel just to make these fun, dumb little videos, and if I'm not having dumb fun with a video, I'm not going to fucking bother. That's ultimately the bottom line. If I'm doing a video and instantly I say in my mind, there's no fucking point, I'm going to stop and not bother. But every video I've covered with Phil has been fucking worth it because he says a lot of funny things that made me laugh. Uh, so, to a way, I've been I've been enjoying his videos. Um, but when I see a video, but it's just, again, that's how it's always been with this channel. If I'm bored, I'm not going to cover it. If it's going to be a video that I know is going to be fun to watch, that's going to be funny or ridiculous, I will cover it. Uh, so that's that's what's going on. That's why you have not been seeing a lot of variety with this channel. Hopefully, with the coming weeks or months or whenever, I will finally get a video from something that's not DSP that I can fucking cover. Uh, because ultimately... I don't know what to fucking do at this point, other than just to continue, to, to continue the path I'm on until, you know, I see a video that is worth doing a video on. Uh, the only thing I'm probably going to be doing, that I'm going to be aiming to do, is to continue my Endure of my old videos. That's something I do want to continue, so I will be doing that um, in the meantime. So there's that. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I hope you, you get it. Um... Other than that, I hope you enjoy the videos, and I hope you enjoy the year, day, whatever, so stay, stay tuned, I guess.